A 67-year-old patient arrives in her office saying she wants another opinion. She'd gone to another uh, dentist and asked for upper and lower dental implants. That dentist refused to do so, saying these teeth can be saved. What do you do? What did we do? That's what we'll talk about today on Practical Treatment Planning. So we've got a woman, um, 209 pounds. Uh, she has a pH of 5.5, and if you aren't taking pHs, it's a nice thing you can do in order to be able to help a patient understand the cause of decay. But if we take a look at her, you'll notice that there's a distinct difference between the upper and lower arches, aren't there? She did have orthodontics as a kid, but the orthodontics has relapsed. You'll notice this extreme incisal wear in the anterior, but also it carries within the incisal edges. And on the upper arch, you'll see that it could be described really as rampant caries on the upper arch. But is the lower arch like that? And the answer is no. Uh, yes, there are big restorations on the number 30 and 31 site, but basically she has no periodontitis, uh, and uh, the tooth arrangement is not good, and she's missing a tooth on the lower left side, but the lower arch is different from the upper arch, and that's what we're doing today. We're helping her differentiate between the upper and the lower arches. Okay, so on the upper arch, could we restore? Of course we could. But she has a pH of 5.5, and she has rampant caries throughout. What's the chance of that restoration lasting for a long time? Okay, not very good at all. But let's take a, take a look at the lower arch. And in the lower arch, no periodontal disease, no caries. It's all been withstanding the same diet. Um, she's a bit overweight, and I would imagine there's some sugar components there. But uh, in addition, she has a pH of 5.5, but no caries except for 30 and 31, which have been restored, and the rest restorations have been successful. Let's take a look at the bone support. We'll take a look at the bone support in the upper and the lower arch. Um, if you're doing implants, or if, even if you're not doing implants, could you do implants in a case like this on the upper and the lower? And of course, the answer is yes. So, we have rampant caries on the upper arch, but not on the lower arch. We have good bone support on the upper arch and good bone support on the lower arch. We have a pH of 5.5. We have a woman who is uh, a bit overweight, and she says she can't even eat on her tooth teeth anymore. And I'll take that at face value, that she can't eat very well, and that's the reason, uh, plus her smile, that she wants to get teeth changed. Can we do upper and lower fixed prostheses? Yes, we can. Should we do upper and lower fixed prostheses? Well, if I see a difference in the caries rate on the upper arch and literally no caries in the lower arch, but I don't like the arrangement, here's what I'd like. I'd like to maintain the proprioception of the lower teeth. You know, when we're putting implant restorations in, they look really, really good, but it's a rock. It's a rock that's attached to screws that are attached to the bone to be really gross about it. What if we maintain the proprioception by keeping lower teeth and doing what we call solid bite on the upper arch, which is a fixed ceramic prosthesis in place. Can we do that with the tooth arrangement that's there now? No, of course not. Take a look at the, the, the canine teeth. Take a look at the bicuspids on, on the right side. We have an exaggerated curve of speed. We have teeth that go up and down. We have teeth that are lingually inclined. We can't do it against this. So here's my first choice. Let's see the orthodontist and see if the patient's willing, let's see the orthodontist and get the teeth straightened down to the lower arch. Then let's extract the teeth on the upper arch, place an implant-supported temporary prosthesis, complete the orthodontics, and then perhaps place an implant on, in the number 19 area and restore just number 19, keep her natural, the rest of her natural teeth the way they are, and uh, do an implant-supported fixed prosthesis in the upper arch. That's choice number one. Choice number two, she says, I don't want to go through the ortho. And by the way, she also said to me she doesn't like the color of her teeth in the lower, and so we're going to bleach those teeth. So choice number two, if she doesn't want to go through the ortho, and if she doesn't want to go through the bleaching, yeah, yeah, we'll give her what she wants because we can line up the teeth a lot better. We can give her a smile. We can give her something to function on. Well, I just think she can function better if she has natural teeth. Uh, but if she doesn't want to go to the ortho, yes, we'll do in-place supported prostheses on the upper and lower arches. What would you do? Put your answer in the comments section. Thanks for joining us. Please click like and subscribe. We've been gaining a whole lot of subscribers, and we thank you for joining us on Practical Treatment Planning.
If you want to see more about this kind of treatment planning, click on this video.